Hi guys, Samantha from Decima Tutorials here and today I'm going to be showing you a checkerboard cane. And so this tutorial is going to be part of a larger tutorial that I'm going to be showing and this is the cane that I'm going to be showing you how to how to make and this is the checkerboard part of the cane. So that's what I'm going to be showing today. So these were run through on the thicker setting and then I folded over the sheet so it is now twice my thicker setting. So these are both twice my thicker setting on my pasta machine. So now what we need to do is we need to cut out squares from them. So I'll just bring over my ruler and what we need to do is we need to measure the height. And so that is about six mils high and so each of the blocks needs to be six mils wide. So I'll just put that to the side and the black's the exact same um, the black is the exact same so whatever we do here we'll do for the black as well. So I'm just going to lay my ruler across here and then I'm going to count six mils so I'm just going to turn this around so it's easier for me to do We'll point, mark off where the six mil mark is, then we count another six mils, mark it, count another six mils, mark it, and so on until we reach the end. Okay, so I've marked off both of these, and so now what we're going to do, each of them we're just going to cut on those lines. So that now we have nice equal pieces. And because it's a six by six piece, each of these pieces, when it's put into the cane, will look square, which is what we want. So this piece wasn't quite right, but see, that's just about square. Okay, so now what we do, let me just move this out my way a little bit. Now we are going to alternate. So you put white with white, just like that. Well, black, white, black, white, and you alternate. Okay. And then when you're happy, you can put white. You can start the next layer, which is white on black and black on white. Just like this and you'll just carry on doing this until you've completed your cane okay so I finished assembling it as you can see now we're going to just gently with our fingers first press all those pieces together and then we'll come with our acrylic roller and reduce it just a little bit And before we do that, I just want to trim off these ends. There we go. So if I showed you it here now, you can see that there's some air bubbles. And so we want this nice and compressed together. So this one's more of a rectangle shape than a square. And that's because that's what I want in the cane. But you can do this in any shape that you want. You could do it a square shape, you could do a triangle, not a triangle shape, excuse me, a rectangle shape. But this was the one that I chose today. Okay, so you'll just roll with your acrylic rod, rotate, roll again, rotate, and roll again. And what this will do is it will reduce it slightly, and it will also start compacting all those pieces together by getting rid of all those air bubbles and pushing them out. So I'd continue doing this until I'm fairly happy with it. And I think it should be fine about now. So I'll just check. Just drop that off. And then we'll see. And there we are. That's pretty good. Check the other side as well. And that looks pretty good as well. 
and then I like to chop in the middle just to check. So what you could do, if you weren't happy with it, is you could just put these two pieces together and make your checkerboard bigger. But I'm quite happy with them the way they are. But I like to just chop it in the middle to check for any air bubbles. But that's basically how you create a checkerboard, and so I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. And if it was, please do check the links below, as there'll be links to more tutorials like this one. And be sure to check out next um, next week's video, as I'll be showing you how to create this African fabric inspired cane. So be sure to check that out. And as always, I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.